But yes, uh, Zephon and Rahab are also two of the useful, two of the more useful abilities you can get because Zephon allows you to climb certain structures, and Rahab allows you to swim. Duma's ability doesn't get much, doesn't end up very, being very useful, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Terrell, again, we don't fight Terrell in this game. And actually now we can almost, I think we, we can just about get to where Kane is. Oh right, I forgot, I forgot about the lock. Alright, you know what? Go ahead and shift back. Got a spear. And now we can leave. endowed you with the means to gain entry. Beware, however, this hollow derelict is abandoned, but not uninhabited. He's actually talking about the fact that the sanctuary of the clans is where Cain is. So since we can, since we have a teleport plate, uh, place for that, once I get back to the chamber, it should be just right here. I could walk back through the sanctuary of Raziel and the Razielum, but I'd rather just, you know, not do that. That's the underground chamber. That's, yeah, that's the, this is the Sanctuary of the Clans. I just don't like the fact that I have to leave my spear behind. This might be, I think, if I'm right, this is actually where we get something rather fun coming up. That's the abyss. Miss me. Again, I have no means to directly kill you, so I have to leave you be. Here we go. The sanctuary. You know what? Let's just go ahead and phase out. Also, yes, if you dodge forward, you can actually... It'll actually do a dodge attack. Oh, no, you don't get to survive. Yeah. Or, I'm trying to do it, but I can't. It's because I'm not locked on, I guess. And through this gate we go. These are the... That's what I was talking about, the expanding your health health amount. Basically, those are the heart pieces. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, here's a here's a good question for you guys. Because you can tell in that in that low section right there, that is water. If vampires can't stand water, why have a pool? You can't exactly swim. Yeah, I'm gonna need you two to get out of my way. You're going in. Here, go join him. I said get in my mouth. Or what's used to be a mouth. Hey, I got a present for you. Catch. Throw. You're going for a dip. I cannot go in the water either yet, because again, I don't have the soul of Rahab. Back into the spirit realm with me. No souls to easily absorb here, so in we go. We're coming up on the first fight with Kane. Time for some sweet undead revenge. Symbols on the door are very important. Raziel. Cain. The abyss has been unkind. I am your creation, Cain. Now, as before. I should have saved. You criticize your own work. What have you done with my clan, degenerate? You have no right. What I have made, I can also destroy, child. Damn you, Cain! You are not God! This act of genocide is unconscionable! Conscience? You dare to speak to me of conscience? Only when you have felt the full gravity of choice should you dare question my judgment. Your life span is a flicker compared to the mass of doubt and regret that I have borne since Mortanius first turned me from the light. To know that the fate of the world hangs dependent on the advisedness of my every deed? Can you even begin to conceive what action you would take in my position? I would choose integrity, Kane. <laughs> Look around you, Raziel. See what has become of our empire. Witness the end of an age. The clans scattered to the corners of Nosgoth. This place has outlasted its usefulness. As have you. A soul reaver. Cain's ancient blade. Older than any of us and a thousand times more deadly. The legends claim that the blade was possessed and thrived by devouring the souls of its victims. For all our bravado, we knew what it meant when Cain drew the Soul Reaver in anger. It meant you were dead. 
We actually have some pretty big lore stuff there. I'm just kidding. Yeah, he can just... He, he actually can't just one-shot me from full health. Luckily, I don't have to worry about that too much. Okay, I do not remember how this, how this fight goes. But like I said, we got some pretty big lore stuff, like Cain mentioning Mortanius. Mort uh, Mortanius was actually the p guardian of the Pillar of Death. I got close that time. But in the original in the original Blood Omen, Cain was what like Raziel told us originally, Cain was human originally. Get behind something, get behind something. Okay, that just went straight through that wall. That's bullshit. Just need everything here. Problem is, I don't I don't know where King is. Okay, I'm not exactly... Yeah, I don't remember how this fight goes. Which is a problem. Okay. Yeah, it's literally... It is worth That is some slow-ass lightning you got there, Kane. But yeah, you got All you gotta do is get in and hit him. Oh, okay. Okay, you can dodge it. Ugh, we're about to make see where he, where he teleported to. Scott, this is an annoying fight. I forgot, about I forgot just how annoying this fight could get. <clears throat> I don't remember. I don't think it. I think each time I, I each time I go back to the spirit realm, it technically means. I don't know if the fight resets or what. Oh, come on! There's... This is just an annoying fight. This might take me a bit. Right, you... Yeah, you eat that. Oh, come... Ugh.
There we go, it does good, it does not reset. Also, the Soul Reaver is a very important thing, you'll see in just a second. Because that happening is important. It's also something Raziel mentioned. The blade is vanquished. So it unfolds. And we are a step closer to our destinies. <laughs> I swore I saw a glint of satisfaction in Cain's eye when the Soul Weaver was destroyed. I did not understand the game that Cain was playing, but I knew the finishing move. Our second power. From this moment and ever afterward, you and this blade are inextricably bound. Soul Reaver and Weaver of Souls. Your destinies are intertwined. By destroying the sword, you have liberated it from its corporeal prison and restored it to its true form. A radiant blade, its energy unbound. No longer a physical blade, it can only manifest itself in the material realm when your strength is fully restored. Once manifest, it will sustain you. That is important. What are you, little soul? Another of Cain's creatures come to taunt this bound specter. I did not intend to disturb your rest. Rest. A body is needed for sleep. Flesh and bones are required to recline. No, child. All I may do is watch and remember ceaselessly conscious as this wretched world's history unfurls. Ghastly past, insufferable future, are they one and the same? Am I always here? How have you come to haunt these pillars? Cain refused the sacrifice. The pillar of balance, corrupted to its core, stands as a monument to his blind ambition. Now these pillars serve only to bind me here, my prison and eternal home, thanks to the avarice of your master, Cain. That bastard can claim no allegiance from me. Then we share a common foe, Raziel. Return here when you have need. Ariel remembers what others have forgotten. Again, some major lore stuff right there. That that is Ariel, formerly the Pillar of Balance of the, of the Pillars of Nazgoth. 